All right, continuing kind of our cruise here through Grand Rapids, Michigan, which is where I grew up, and it's cool to be back home. Um, and I just realized we're passing a place uh, that I've not been to since I was 19. But this place was formerly Goodwill Industries, and I remember at 19 years old, walking up to these doors, being scared to death. Uh, at 19, I had a lot of things kind of go wrong in life and wound up finding myself actually homeless. Uh, left my mom's house, things were really rough there between her and I, and decided to try to start over. So starting over for me looked like a backpack with as many clothes as I could cram in it. Uh, a couple things that were important to me, uh, for me it was magic tricks, because that's how I made a living at that point. And I walked into this building here, Goodwill Industries, I remember walking up to the front desk, scared as could be. There were several people sitting in some of these chairs out front, and I just said, hey, I, I need to apply for a homeless assistance program. I just left my mom's house, and I have nothing, and I've got to start over. And I said, no. I said, my heart uh, is to work with kids. I said, i got to work with kids. And they said, Mr. Feely, we don't have a program for that. And I said, well, that's, that's what i got to do. That's what I know I'm supposed to do. And finally, after getting frustrated because I wouldn't choose one of their programs, they handed me to this intern who uh, was in college. She was just all fired up and she said, there's something different about you. She says, you are supposed to work with kids. And, uh, so two weeks after becoming homeless, which uh, was wild, I was hired in uh, to a government job, uh, grant funded. It's not like I made a lot of money, it wasn't fancy, but it was the first time that someone gave me a chance to really work with kids. And uh, that was my first opportunity to make an impact with kids like me that were really struggling. So I will never forget this building. And more so, I'll never forget that intern that looked at me and didn't see my situation, but saw the person inside that had a passion to do something. So we're traveling back to a pretty special place. This is actually uh, where I got to help uh, host the president of Burundi along with the United States Secret Service. And uh, the other day I was talking about how uh, I, I went past a building here that brought back some memories because uh, it's where I apply for a homeless assistance program. And I would say that was probably the lowest point of my life. Uh, whereas uh, the day I was here with the president was probably the highest point, one of the highest points of my life. 23 years old, and my production company was chosen uh, to help uh, run the production, and uh, it was incredible. And I remember sitting back and thinking before the president came and before everything started, I thought, you know, uh, finally, people that are naysayers, that kind of my haters in my life, they're going to respect me because here I am with the president of a country. You know, how how cool! And uh, the truth is, I was totally wrong. See, the same people that talked bad about me when I was homeless, when I was down, talked bad about me when I was on top of my game and when I was doing probably the coolest assignment I ever got, uh, following the president around and, and handling the production stuff. And I think it just goes to show what I share with students all the time, you know, hate is going to hate. <laughs> people are going to say what they're going to say. And uh, it doesn't really have anything to do with you. Typically, it's they're just trying to have power over you. And I remember coming out of that event and I thought, oh, you know, this is going to change my career. It's going to change everything. But guess what? Once it was over, once the president got on a plane and left, it wasn't but a week or two and everybody was back to their normal lives, including me. And then it was, okay, I got to get back to work. I got to do the norm. And so I meet a lot of students. They think, hey, if I get to a certain point in popularity or if I just got this amazing job, it would change my life and, and things would be gravy. And the truth is that's often not true. You gotta keep at it, you gotta keep your character, and most of all, you gotta keep a positive attitude when dealing with your haters. Uh, because people are gonna say what they're gonna say, they're gonna do what they're gonna do, but you can't control other people's actions. The only thing you can control is your reaction. So pull a T Swifty, shake it off. <laughs>